It's an event that attracts some of the biggest names in golf, the likes of John Daly and Vijay Singh, Sergio Garcia, if I'm not mistaken, Mike Weir, Stephen Ames. It is the TELUS World Skins Game. It is coming to Bear Mountain for the 18th annual TELUS World Skins Game. This will be, let me see if i got a date on it here. It's in 2010. Well, anyway, we'll get to the details. Oh, June 21st and 22nd of uh, 2010. Okay, and along with the event itself, which is a really cool event, and a very well attended and a very visual one. Um, it does a lot of good for the community too. So joining us uh, in studio, uh, Marshall Birkin, who is the general manager for the Vancouver Island region. Oh, Janice Hedroff. Janice, always great to have you in. You can speak up. <laughs> At a girl. And joining us uh, via telephone, Rob Gelaretto from Tourism Victoria. Rob, great to have you here. Let's let's talk about um, the value that the skins will bring to the community in terms of this tourism dollars as a, as a whole. The event will drive 5,000 people to the golf course itself over over three days, bring some of the biggest golfers in the world to, to Victoria and, and highlight, I think, all the great value that Victoria has to offer, not only as a golf destination location, but as a destination location uh, in general. It makes it a marquee location. A marquee location, absolutely. Rob, would you agree with that? This is all about. Janice Place is a place where families can stay and the whole family, so the brothers and sisters and the mom and dad can stay. And there's going to be like a rest group to care and a hospice care. So then the families don't get divorced, and that's really sad when you see that. So we're trying to keep the families together as much as possible. I know you've got a very special family that sticks together like glue, and it's quite remarkable. And you, and you talk about what a family means to you. Yeah, like, it's important to have both mom and dad and even my brother there because without them, I wouldn't be as well as I am today because they're the together and I know that they have for me. It's more confident for me to have, like, both my parents there. Marshall, you take a, a look at a, a young woman like Janice, and he, here's a, a young person that has grown up very quick, a lot quicker than a lot of people would want to see their child grow up, you talk about the spirit that she embodies and attaching her name as part of this. What in your mind does this do? Uh, I think it does a couple of things. Uh, one, we are certainly believe wholeheartedly, TELUS believes wholeheartedly in Janice's dream in terms of what she wants to do here in Victoria. Um, she's absolutely right. You know, to have to have families coming from Port Hardy or Port Renfrew or wherever it happens to be on the island to come and get medical care and the strain that that puts on families is, is, uh, is it's really disheartening to see and, and when um, we were looking for a, an organization to support with the skins because we every time we do the skins we want to give back to the community and, and really we wanted to give something back that had a legacy and that's what Janice's Place is really going to do is it's going to be a, a lasting uh, activity uh, Janice's Place House is going to provide to the community that we saw as desperately needed. There really isn't uh, an, an offering of this type in Victoria for families to come and, and, and have the the area to to act, interact as a family while while the child is going through some medical treatment down here in Victoria. So to me, uh, being able to support that, uh, having all of our team members to get behind Janice Place to uh, to make this a reality is, is as a local Victorian, I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic to make this happen. You take a look at the legacy that Janice has already created. Oh, I mean, 1.5, almost 1.6 million dollars raising. Uh, from pennies. I mean, that's absolutely <coughs> amazing in my mind. I mean, how, how quickly she was able to do that. And, I, and I've heard the stories where people, when she, they asked her what she wanted to accomplish, she said a million dollars in pennies. People were, were taken aback. And she's not only done that, but she's done that in way more. So she's a phenomenal a young lady with a, an amazing dream. And I am very, very confident that she will make that a reality. Janice, you've always been one to dream big. Did you think that this would happen? I thought it will, but I never knew how fast it was going to be. And I thought it would take a net, maybe a year or two to get started. But it's been so fast, it's kind of like, whoa. <laughs> but even a year or two is pretty quick, and you're making it happen already. Yeah, it's quite amazing. How does it make you feel to know that you're helping other kids and families? It makes me feel extremely good because I know that when people don't actually help other families and kids, it's like, what are you doing in your life? Like, I can't stop fundraising for kids, families, and other charities and stuff. It's just something I have to do, and it feels really good. Like, I just love doing it. 
and you do a remarkable job.